Hello and welcome to Rock Profile. Now, our very special guest today is the lead singer with one of Britain's biggest rock groups who've built up a huge cult following on the backs of live performances at Glastonbury and also with their albums, K and Peasants, Pigs and Astronauts. Crispian Mills, welcome to the show. Watcher. <laughs> Hi. Now, uh, you particularly requested that we meet here at uh, King Charles School in Winchester. Why was that? Well, I'm not allowed off school grounds until the fourth year. Right, so... So, so you're a pupil here, obviously, hence the, uh, hence the uniform, right? Yeah, but I'm not a complete swat. Look, I've done my tie off in. <laughs> the whole ethos of Kula Shaka is freedom, and by that I mean uh, freedom of love, freedom of expression, freedom to do what you want, when you want. That's not exactly uh, what I... What's going on in here? Mills. Uh, no, nothing, sir. What do you mean, nothing? There's, there's cameras and, and camera operators and sound men, another boy here talking to you. Explain yourself. Uh, I'm doing an interview, sir, for the BBC. Oh, really? BBC One or BBC Two? No, it's UK Play. It's a BBC digital channel. Oh, I haven't even heard of it. <laughs> well, it, it, does, it, it does exist. Oh, I'm sure it does. Right, well, you carry on. I've got some marking to do. Oh, that's Mr. Paxton. He's a head of languages. All the chaps call him Ratty. Ratty Paxton, because he looks like a rat. I can hear every word you're saying. So, um, so Crispin, tell me, how did you how did you form the band? Uh, well, we were in the talk shop. Anyway, the reason uh, they call me Ratty Paxton is because I have on occasion been known to get rather ratty with certain individuals. They do not call me Ratty Paxton because I look like a rat. I do not look like a rat. I look like a man, which is what I am, a man. What's a man in French mills, quickly? Uh, un homme. Un homme. Un homme is a man feminine. Un homme. Un homme, yes. Un homme. Un homme est dans le sol, meaning? Um, the man is in the bucket, sir. Correct. Now be quiet and let me get on with my marking. Uh, being in a band and studying for your GCSEs as well, that must be quite tough. Oh, well, you see, Kulashaka is actually part of a school project. Uh, we're allowed to choose between space, forming a band, or sharks. My first choice was sharks, but it was full up, so I had to do forming a band instead. You've done pretty well, then, considering it's a school, <laughs> considering it's a school project. Yeah, but there are these boys in the fourth year who do this band, Blah, and uh, they've been in the charts for ages. Um, but it's not just about airplay and record sales. You've got to write essays as well. And uh, Blur only got uh, uh, a B for their last album because uh, they handed in their essays late because they were doing a promotional tour of Japan. Uh, and, and, and what did, what did Kula Shaker get? Oh, they got A for Tatva, uh, B for Govinda, um, but only got a D for Hush because they said it was cribbing. Right, I'm marking your book now, Mills. <coughs> God. 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 Oh, absolute rubbish. Where do the women buy their bread? Boulangerie. Don't tell him. Boulangerie. Boulangerie, yes. Yeah. So why did you put boucherie? Hey, idiot. Oh. Um. So, uh, do you get many fans hanging around outside the school, Crispy? Yes. They make an awful racket. A lot of them are very common girls from the local comprehensive. I don't like girls anyway. They're beastly and horrid. I prefer trains. <laughs> Right, you must get a lot of fan mail, though, I guess. Oh, yes. Such a bore. They all want me to write back. I've got enough prep as it is. And sometimes they do drawings of what they want to do with me, and I don't understand them. So I took them to Stiffy Davenport. And Sorry. S who? New biology master. Sorry. And he said it was something to do with reproduction and mumbled something about amoebas, but I didn't really understand it. Will you tell me? Um... Have you still got those pictures? No. Stiffy confiscated them. Now he says he's lost them. He did exactly the same thing last term with my refreshers. There are a lot of Indian references in Kula Shaker's music. Where do they come from? India. So have you spent a lot of time over there? No, apparently it's a bit dirty. It smells of all curry. Right, so... So where have you picked up all this Indian stuff from? Well, sometimes on Saturday afternoons, if we finished our prep, 
were allowed to go down to Oaks Bashing, and there's this post office there where we buy our stamps, and the man who runs it is Pakistani, and I once overheard him talking to his wife, going, Govinda Jaya Jaya, Govinda Jaya Jaya. Uh, apparently that's her name, and uh, I thought it sounded funny, so I put it in a song. <laughs> I wonder where you pinched it from. No, I've never pinched anything from that shop. I once took a rubber, but I felt guilty and put it down the drain and tried to forget about no, it. No, no, you don't understand. What I'm saying is, is that a lot of critics have accused you of plundering a culture uh, that you don't understand. I mean, there were the no. comments about the swastika no. for it. No, well, you said that you wanted to have uh, burning swastikas how many on stage. Times do you people need to be told? Mills is only in year three. It doesn't do the Second World War until the spring time. See? Mm. The Kula Shaker are famous for their stage shows, festivals, that kind of thing. Do you enjoy playing live? Sometimes. We actually did our first concert at the end of last term. Um, it was a Christmas carol service in front of the parents. and We started off with a few songs from the new album, but uh, the parents started heckling. We tried to just carry on as normal, but then they started throwing chairs. So we did Once in Royal David City. And uh, apart from the drummer getting lynched, there was hardly any trouble at all. <laughs> yes, it was very amusing, if I recall. But we have got a lot better live. Uh, last week we did a lunchtime concert for the lower school and it was absolute rocking. <laughs> At one point the boys even started clapping along to the songs. The last made was just a lot of noise. And, uh, and afterwards the headmaster's wife uh, invited us back to the house and gave us some fudge which was absolute whiz and then the other boys uh, had to go off to a chess club and she asked me to stay behind and she gave me some sweet sherry and and she uh, took off all her clothes and I got frightened and uh, ran away. Mills, if you were as creative with your prep as you are with your interviews, you'll be top of the form. Uh, for the record, Mrs Hamlin only drinks dry sherry. Yes, I was, I was definitely offered a dry sherry. It must be quite difficult dealing with the money side of things, is it? Is it not tempting just to go out and, and spend all your royalties at once? Well, I don't get any. It all goes to the school. Oh, the money from the first album paid for the new science block. Right, what, what about the second album? I think they bought some locusts. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you, the fact that you're doing all the hard work and yet you don't see any of the cash? No, I'm not interested in money. I'm more interested in spirituality and the cosmos. Besides, when I'm 21, I inherit Scotland. Right, what, what are your hopes for the future? Um, well... Well, I'd love to be a prefect. Uh, yeah, I dare say you would, yeah. Anything else? Not really, no. Oh, I'd love to have my own locker. But the mow I'm sharing with Judder, and he keeps on using my comb. I've gone to see my housemaster, but he doesn't seem to want to do anything about it. I'm hoping somebody might watch this show and give Judder a bloody great biff on the nose. It's certainly big enough. Oh, don't tell him I said that. Right, <laughs> thanks, tonight. I seem to have everybody's work except yours. <laughs> I'm 27 years old, can I say? I'm not a pupil at this school. Well, I hardly think that's an excuse for not doing your school homework. Can I go now, sir? Yes, you may leave. Thank you, sir. Bye, Thiexton. Good luck. Right, cheers, yes. Thanks, Crispin. OK, shall we... Not go? you, Thiexton. Stay where you are. Yeah, but we've, we've got another... Well, we've got another two interviews to do yes, this I'm afternoon Yes, I'm sure you have, but you should have thought of that, shouldn't you, before you decided not to hand in your school homework, eh? Oh, but, sure. Detention. <laughs> Double detention. Right, you may leave. Thank you, sir. Shoelaces. Sorry, sir. Not now. No, sir, sorry. Walk, don't run. <laughs> I've got eyes in the back of my head. Sorry, sir. Shut the door. Okay. Leave it open. Uh, sorry, sir. 